AWS Training 3 is not just a new chip. It's an attack on the GPU oligopoly. It delivers more performance, lower cost, and real exitability from single vendor control. For startups and research labs, this is the first time high-end training becomes economically attainable without NVIDIA. NVIDIA responded by locking in the design ecosystem. The $2 billion Synopsys deal embeds GPU acceleration into the software that engineers use to design new chips, vehicles, satellites, and physical systems. If the tools assume GPUs, then GPUs remain the default. This is locked in through workflow, not hardware. This maps directly to the compute and communication layer of the Sovereign stack. Tranium 3 expands choice. NVIDIA strengthens dependency. Sovereignty requires both alternatives and portability. Without both, competition becomes theoretical and the monopoly persists. The question is simple. Will cost and performance open the market, or will ecosystem lock-in keep the gates closed? Watch the adoption curve, because the future of compute sovereignty hinges on who controls the architecture that builds the next generation of AI systems. Because in the compute sovereignty war, the danger is concentration itself.